So we're going to have a little look at how to um, search a CSV. So on the right, I have a CSV with uh, sort of four names, surnames, addresses, and whatever classes. This could be as long as you like. Um, and over in Python here, we're going to import the CSV module. So import the CSV. We're going to make a blank list, which we've called data. And then this code here uses the CSV library to take all of this stuff here and import it into a list called data. Okay, and we can check that by just going print data. Um, and what should happen is we will have everything from, here we go, everything from the CSV now inside a list in Python. Okay, um, and this means we can obviously start doing things with the data once it's inside a list. So in this case, I've got the user to enter a name, a first name, in this case, we want to search for the person's first name um, and all their details. Now, what this bit of code here is this creates a new list for us, which I've just called col, as in column, because it searches in column zero, and it takes everything in column zero, which is this column, and it puts it into the list called col. Okay, and again, we can have a look at that because if we do print col, we should see a list of everything in column zero, so all the first names. So let's just run that so we can have a look. Uh, okay, so that there is our list um, called col. Okay, all of the first names. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to say if name in col. So if the name we type in is in this column, okay, sorry, this list. Now, we're doing this because if we don't, if we had this over here, for example, we would get name does not exist printed as many times as entries we've got in the list, which is what we don't want. Okay, so we're saying if name is in col, then if it is, run this loop. So for x in range to the length of the list, okay, however long the list is, and we're saying if name, so whatever we type in, say for example, jack, is equal to data x0. Now what this means, x is the iteration number of the list. So this will, x will start at 0 first, then it will go to 1, then 2, then 3. Okay, so our list is four items long. And it's looking in column zero. Okay, so that's this column here. That's what this zero means. So the first time x is um, in the loop, x will be zero, and it will look in zero, uh, position zero, which is this row, and it will look in column zero, and it will say, is Jack equal to John? No. So the loop will move on to the next iteration of x, which is now one. And it will look in column one, sorry, row one, column zero, which is Jack. And it will say, is Jack equal to Jack? And if it is, which in this case obviously it is, it will print data X, which will be data one. So it will print all of Jack's details because he is in uh, row one in the list. Okay. If the name doesn't exist, it won't go into the loop um, because the name isn't in this list and it will print name does not exist. Okay, so if we run this as a whole, what we will get is this. So we'll do, uh, what should we do? Let's do Tony. So that goes when it prints out Tony's details. And if I run the program again and put someone who's not in there, it will say name does not exist. Okay, so if the name exists, it runs a loop through the um, list with all the details in to look for a match. If it finds a match, it prints that. Um, if the name isn't in this list, then it will print name does not exist and the program will end. Now, you can do this for any column in the CSV. Any zeros means it's going to search in this column. Okay. So here and here. If you wanted to do second name, you'd simply just change the zero to a one. Okay, so for example, if we're going to be back in here, if I change those to a one, we should now be able to search by first, uh, sorry, surname. So let's try uh, Archer. Okay, there we go. Um, so change that number depending on the column you're searching in in the CSV.